Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Just Slap podcast episode. Today, we have a very, very special episode for you guys. A couple weeks ago, we flew down to IMG Academy to film the Eddie Hurt International Tennis Championships. Now, while at the tournament, we had the distinct pleasure of meeting and sitting down with Rodrigo Pacheco Mendez, who is one of the best junior tennis players in the world. When we filmed this episode, Rodrigo was ranked number one in the world, and this was his last ever junior tournament before making his transition to the ATP Tour and to professional tennis. Now, not only is Rodrigo an incredible tennis player, but he was also just an overall a stand-up guy, super kind, high energy, positive. I really enjoyed speaking with him and getting to know him. And after speaking with him, I am a huge fan. So I can't wait to watch what this kid does and his transition to the tour and, and how he's going to handle professional tennis. I think he's going to make waves on the ATP tour. I hope that you guys enjoy the episode and I hope that you guys follow his career and, and show the support and love that he deserves. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below what you think and enjoy the episode. So let's talk about Eddie Hur and, and the matches that you've had so far. You're I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're like on a 15 match win streak. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm, I've been playing for, I won the G1 in the G300 in Mexico, then the G500 in Mexico as well. And then now tomorrow I'm going to be playing semifinals here in Eddie Hair. That's, I mean, it's really good to, to, to won like, f I think 14 or 15 yeah. matches straight. I mean, it's not easy because the body start to feel tired and, a bit complicated. I have some a bit of painful in my my knee. I think yeah. here yeah. down. So I mean it's a, a bit annoying to play with this, but it's okay. I'm uh, it's the last tournament of the year, my my last junior tournament. So I'm just trying to enjoy as much I can and yeah, tomorrow play with my best and and yeah, let's see what's happened. <laughs> so what do you do? So obviously you said you have some pain in, in your leg. What do you do to kind of make sure that you're best physically for the next match? Yeah, yeah, good question. Obviously now I'm going to the hotel and I'm this tournament coming with my fitness coach. So he know a lot of stuff of physio or, or kind of, of that. So probably we are going to do some recovery stuff and maybe, yeah, to, to do treatment and something like that. Yeah, for be ready for tomorrow. I have a lot of time to rest and prepare for, for tomorrow. So that's really good. I like this tournament because everything finished pretty early. Yeah. Not like in Mexico. In Mexico, I finished so late. So I just feel a l more tired than here. So yeah, so now just focus on tomorrow's match to relax a bit the mind and yeah, yeah. enjoy the, the time in the US. <laughs> that's one thing that you said that was interesting was you were saying, you know, today go do some work with a physio and then afterwards go to, you know, a mall or, or something like that to take the mind off of tennis. What do you typically do when you travel with your team? What do you do to kind of keep the mind relaxed and not always be focused on tennis? Yeah, I, I am a really relaxed guy. I don't, I, I, I don't like to just be a tennis player. I mean, I just don't like to be in the hotel thinking about the match of tennis. I, the things that I love to travel is to visit some places, to to go around, to go to shopping mall and all of that stuff. I hate just to be in the hotel and waiting for the sleep and for the day of of the other day. And then, I mean, yeah, I always it's part it kind part of the routine to keep the mind off the tennis, the tennis life and yeah to enjoy to do some shopping and of course it's december so yeah. i feel the the vibes of december to buy the clothes and all of yeah. that so yeah. it's it's really good i really enjoy to come here and yeah now i'm very happy because the day is gone and i'm gonna enjoy the time in the shopping center probably <laughs> do you have any like major hobbies that you do so you, you obviously you do more than just tennis and do you think what, what do you like to do just for fun I mean, more. now I don't have too many things for do, so I go to shopping center, but I like to go home to spend time with my friends. I almost, when I go home, I don't, I play tennis, of course, but not too much. I just try to, to keep my mind out of tennis, to enjoy the moment, yeah. uh, go out with my friends, go with the family to dinner, or sometimes to go, f I live close from the, from the sea, so uh, sometimes I go to the, to the beach and all nice. because we have a house in the beach so we go there fishing and I like to to watch another sports to play another sport so so yeah that's why I, I love tennis because it's not just tennis in my yeah. life I have a lot of things to do and I think it's very good for all the 
for all the young, the teenage people, because the tennis career is, is very, very, very long. And you need to be like physical and mentally very prepared and good. And sometimes I know some kind of players that they just, they care about too much about tennis. I mean, yeah. it's the most important in our, in our life, but we need to, to be in like in, in a good position, you know? Balanced. Yeah, in a just, balance, yeah. exactly in a balance. What other sports do you play? And I like to play sometimes soccer with my friends nice. and I want to learn golf. I, I want to learn golf. I like to watch NFL yeah. with my friends and I am, uh, I like to watch Formula One, a lot of things. Nice. So also I like, I don't watch too much. I watch tennis, just the slams and the important matches. But if not, um, I don't watch, I don't care too much. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, that's fair. Do you, um, well, cause you're in an interesting point now in your career where you're, you know, you're transitioning now from ITF to ATP. Are you going to be going pro right away or have you thought about like college or what's the kind of what's your mindset going into no the next no few since months? i since i was a kid uh, my dream is to become a really good professional tennis player now i am i think in a very good position so yes i'm gonna try my best to be professional i'm going directly to to the professional uh, circuit the pro circuit so so yeah this is my last junior and next year january i'm just gonna be playing uh, professional tennis matches and tournaments and now I think I'm doing pretty well I just won a 15k so that's important yeah. to become and next year I'm gonna try to at least to, maybe to win one challenger or so yeah. something like that yeah but the, the main imp the most important thing is just to focus in every day uh, train hard like yeah. keep improving and and yes just like become a better player every single day you uh you had some interesting matches on the atp when you played the atp tournaments uh i know you played um jari yeah. uh in the 250 yeah i know you also played emer yeah you know when you play good players like that yeah. you know what is that like for you because you're young still you're super yeah, yeah. young and i remember that time against nicolas jari in, in los cabos i did a really good first set it was just one break and i had like i had a couple of break points to to get the breaks back, but I mean, he's a really good player. I feel the difference. I feel the, that authority that he marked to me. Uh, and in the important moments, he did a great serves. And I know like in important moments, they they always do good shots. And yeah. Do you feel the pressure of them every single match? And second set, I don't know, it was just like faster. Uh, the other guys start to play like Unreal. And, I, and now I think I need to keep improving to become like them. And, and yeah, and then I lost to Imer a couple of weeks ago and it was 7-6 in the third. So yeah. I did a great match. It was a great atmosphere. And, and then I just feel I did a great tennis. It was so close. Uh, and yeah, that makes me like to feel good. And I am in a good position. I am going the right way. So just I feel confidence for the next, uh, for the next year. What are you focusing on, on when it comes to your game, the tennis that you're playing? You know, with this transition, now that you're playing on the professional circuit going forward, what are you focusing on to develop? Uh, I mean, I need to keep improving my surf, my physical, uh, physical strength. Uh, I need to become a strength player, like more muscle and more power. I mean, I am a bit skinny yet. And yes, that's the main important things. Uh, I need to to increase my my like my legs you know like yeah. and also to to improve my slice and my net game i think is really important in the professional tennis uh, circuit and yeah because in the baseline i think i am really good player like the de de defense attack everything i just need to close the points faster sometimes i yeah. think so i mean we were watching your first round match fully yeah. um <laughs> and man playing you on clay <laughs> it's like yeah. we. Pl I play tennis. I play tennis as okay, well. I mean, good. very not not as <laughs> good of a level as you. I played in college, but uh, you know, it, you're extremely consistent from the baseline. Yeah. You know, you you don't give a lot of <laughs> you don't give your opponents anything. You no, know I mean? no. I mean, so I, there's another a lot of players that hit harder than me. That's why I'm improving also to hit harder. But I can be in the baseline like all the day, and it is impossible to beat sometimes to beat me. And I think I am one of the great, the best players in the baseline in the junior circuit. Yeah, I can be putting like deep balls every single time with yeah. heavy spin and moving. So a lot of times in clay court, they, the other physicality, they 
start to feel very tired yeah. and sometimes they got cramps because play I think play against me my one of my strengths is like like I always make them like fit I, I don't know I just put all the balls deep and moving a lot so I think that's my 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 first my power thing yeah. in the tennis when you watch you play as well when when you know people watch you it's also very clear that you you just love it out there <laughs> like you just enjoy it you enjoy yeah. the competition yeah and now i'm starting to enjoy it a bit more before when i was younger i i don't know i was so like stressed when i lost but now i think i become a, this year i been improving a lot in my mentality so now i enjoy a lot of more the matches i don't I, of course i get mad and of all of that stuff but I think I'm just like playing and enjoying the moment, you know. What has caused that shift in your mindset? Like what has allowed you to enjoy tennis more? I don't know. I just, I realize that makes me sad or, or stressed. It, it don't help me for anything in the, in the court. I mean, if I, if I am in troubles, I need to think how to fix it or pass them. And when I was stressed or, or mad, I just make a bad, bad movements or bad right. bad shots and now I am calm I am more calm so I know how to how to do or how to resolve yeah. that those problems and that's that makes me like more more good in the in the court <laughs> yeah for sure I I don't want to keep you for too long so I guess last question but there aren't a lot of ATP professional players from Mexico right I think no. there's one guy who's ahead of you at the moment yeah. he's around 400 in the world yeah I mean, what's that like for you to be <laughs> the number one junior in the world, the, one of the best, you know, under 18, and now, you know, you're going to be going, and I'm sure you're going to make yeah. waves on the ATP tour. What's that like? Yeah, I mean, now it's tough for me in Mexico because there's no players since a lot of time. So everyone is like, see, in, in I am in his eyes of every yeah. Mexican people that l likes tennis. Yeah. And they I am not famous, but the people in Mexico, like, know me and they always they want so bad that i become a great player because yeah. they they know that i can and i know i can i know it's hard because i need to work but i am i, I will do it for sure i will give my best i this, that's why i always told to them that i will give my best that's for sure but yeah sometimes i feel a bit of pressure because they think everything is so easy yeah. and it's not easy they just see if i won or if i lose and they don't they don't know about how much I prepare or how much I train for for that yeah. day, and sometimes they they didn't know if I have a bad day. They just like they feel bad, uh, not fat, but they makes me feel sad sometimes yeah. because they put bad things. But and most of the time it's good because the, they also they support me a lot. Yeah. Like there's two type of people, uh, but more than they support me a lot. So yeah, so I feel good. They give me this like strength for for became and. If they believe in me, I will believe in myself as well. <laughs> Do you find that people, like, obviously when there's a lot of eyeballs on you, like you said, when you win, it's all great. Yeah. But then if you lose, they don't know how much work you put in, whatever. Yeah. Do you find that that kind of, that up and down, how are you, like, how do you handle that mentally? Like, yeah. are you able to block that out and say yeah, it's yeah. okay? Of, I don't see a lot of social media because there's, everything's happened. I just yeah. focus in my in myself. And I know it's of everyone even Djokovic, there's haters for him, of you know. Course. So you just need to how to to balance and how to manage all, all of that comments or that that stuff. But yeah, it's part of the life. So I know it's. I don't. I just don't need to watch it or hear it. Yeah. I just need to 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 know it's gonna be in the in my life. So yeah. how to to live with that? It's good. But now, we, I, now I feel I don't care too much yeah. what they they what they think about me. I'm. I am totally different. I just in my, it's my life. They, they they are not gonna play for me, so it's okay. Yeah. Well, listen, brother. I'm you know I'm very glad to to have seen you play, and and I can't wait to see what your career holds. I think that your yeah. that your energy in general is is amazing. It's yeah. it's great to see you. Yeah, it's just great to get to know you a little bit, and and I you know I I wish you the best of luck going forward, and we're gonna be supporting yeah. you know through the wins and the losses and everything, and uh, I hope we stay in touch and you know I'm, i look forward to what's ahead for you thank you very much for for this interview it's really nice to to meet you guys and hope to see you soon hope to see you soon thank, thank you. you thank Appreciate you very much it.